God bless, God bless, brothers and sisters. Amen, amen. I'm here ready to read Genesis chapter 16 with you. And the title is The Birth of Ishmael. Amen. Um, glory to God. It is 16 verses, so it's not a long chapter. Amen. So um, the last chapter we went over the spiritual seed promised. Um, now we're going to go into chapter six, which 16, which talks about the birth of of Ishmael. Amen. Glory to God. So let's give the Lord thanks and let's get into this reading tonight. Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this this chapter, Father, this chapter 16. We pray that you guide us through this reading, Lord. Open up our minds to receive edification, receive your word, Lord. And may we just meditate on this tonight's reading. And may continue to guide us each and every day as we continue to read Genesis. We give you all the glory, Father, and all the thanks. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, so I'm going to read this word in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And it says, <clears throat> Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bare him no children, and she had a husband made in Egyptian whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold now, the Lord hath restrained me from barren. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife. And he, and he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was displeased in her eyes. And Sarai said unto Abram, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid into thy bosom, and when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judged be, judge between me and thee. And Abram said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. And the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness by the fountain in the way of Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, whence comest thou? And whither wilt thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress, and submit thyself under her hands. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will mightily I will multiply thy seed exceedingly that I shall not be that it shall not be numbered for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child and shall bear a son and shalt call his name Ismael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction and he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And she called his name, called the name of the Lord, thou speck unto her, thou God seeth me. For she said, Have I also here looked after him that seeth me? Wherefore, the well was called Bur la hai -roi. Behold, it is between Kadesh and Bered. And Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called the son's name, which Hagar bare Ismael. And Abram was fourscore and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. That is chapter 16, brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. So 
yeah, it's not, um, it's not, um, <clears throat> Sarai's, uh, child, but it is Hagar's child, her maid, amen, that bear Abram a son, and which is called, um, Ishmael, amen, glory to God, hallelujah. We know that in chapter 15, the last chapter that we read, it was the spiritual seed promised because God had promised Abram that he will have a seed from him. Um, um, so, you see, they were waiting on this promise. And then as we go and we read this, we see that Sarai um, gets very anxious and she's just like, it says that they were in canon for 10 years. And she says, you know what? Have a child with with um hagar and we can you know have this child together amen um but let's go through it <clears throat> so from one to six now sarai abram's wife bear him no children so she bear him no children as for now right and she had a handmaid an egyptian woman right whose name was hagar hagar and sarai said to abram behold now the lord hath restrained me from bearing that the Lord is still is not given her um, the opportunity to have a child yet. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram listened, right? He hearkened to the voice of Sarai. So he listened to what his wife had said. And, and he, um, he went with Hagar. And Sarai, Abram's husband, I'm sorry. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife. Amen. So she gives her maid to her, to her, to Abram. Amen. And he went into, in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was displeased in her eyes. So she got upset, you know, she, after she um, became pregnant, we see that um, um, Sarai was upset. And Sarai said unto Abram, my wrong is upon thee. So she blames Abram um, for it. I have given my maid unto the bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and thee. So let the judge, let the Lord judge between me and you, because now she's, her mate is just like, looks at her like, oh, look, you know, I conceived. Um, that is what I'm getting from this. Amen. Let's go one more verse. But Abram said unto Sarai, behold, thy maid is in thy hand, right? She's your maid. Do to her as thou pleaseth thee. Do what you please with her. It's your maid. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. So we see here, like, well, in ancient documents reveal that when a woman could not provide her husband with a child, um, she could give her female slave as a wife to claim the child of the union as her own. While Hagar is not on equal standing with Sarai, her status does change when she becomes, when she becomes a slave wife. If she produces the heir, she could be the primary wife in the in the eyes of society, according to verses four and five. Um, in Hagar's opinion, Sarai had been demoted, right? Like demoted because she bear she's bearing him a child, right? The Hebrew word translated despised means to be treated lightly or with contempt. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And let's continue to read. And it says, an angel of the Lord found her. So we see um, in 6 that she fled, that she fled, right? So Hagar fled. And an angel of the Lord found her by, by a fountain of water in the wilderness. So she runs and she's in the wilderness by a fountain of water, it says. By the fountain in the way of Shur. So this is where she's at. This is where the angel has found her. And it says in verse 8, and, and he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, whence comest thou? And whither thou wilt go? So what are you going to do? Where are you going? What are you doing here? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress Sarai, that she's fleeing from her. 
And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress and submit thyself under her hands. So he tells her, the angel tells her to go back, to go back to Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. So there, um, the angel is telling her that she's going to have a lot of children uh, multiply her seed exceedingly. Amen. Um, also, it will not be numbered. It shall not be numbered for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child. You are pregnant, and you shall bear a son. So the angel's telling her she's going to have a son, and to name, and his name, um, to call his name Ishmael. Because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In verse 12 it says, And he will be a wild man. He's going to be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And all his brethren. So, this prophecy about Ishmael is not an insult. You know, the wild, the wild donkey lives in a solitary existence in the desert, away from society, right? Ishmael would be a free Roman and strong. So he'd be free Roman, you know, he'd be Roman, free, strong. Um, his free Roman lifestyle would put him in a conflict with those who follow social um, conventions. Amen. This is not a prophecy of open warfare, only a friction between of, um, of his... Uh, antagonism to others antagonism is like unfriendly or hostile um to others ways of life amen glory to god and when we look at verse 13 it says and she called the name of the lord that spake unto her the god seeth me the god seeth me for she said have i also here looked after him that seeth me amen so we see here that this is the only place in the bible where a person names god hagar's names god elroy the god who sees amen the god who sees elroy e-l-r-o-i elroy amen and um <clears throat> glory to God. Wherefore the well wherefore the well was called Berla um Berla Hyroy. Sorry. <laughs> Behold, it is between Kadesh and Bered. And Hagar bare Abram a son. And Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare, Ishmael. And so he was born, and his name was Ishmael. And Abram was fourscore and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. Amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. So this is chapter 16. Amen. I'm trying to remember what fourscore means. I can't remember exactly. Um, what it means, I would have to look it up, but I do know it means something. I'm not sure if it's 40 or 60, um, something like that, but I, I, I'm not sure. I have to look that up. Sorry, but it just, I, I, I know, I know it. I just can't recall, um, what that, what that means again, but yes, that is chapter 16. Um, Ishmael is born. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. By Hagar. We will be going into uh, chapter 17 tomorrow. Um, and we will be talking about Abram becoming Abraham. Amen. In that chapter, we will be talking about the promise of Isaac. Amen. Glory to God. <clears throat> and yep, and it is going to be 27 verses tomorrow. But 
yeah just a quick review i like to try to keep review amen but that is chapter 16 if you guys have any questions or you want to leave a comment amen glory to god let's give the lord thanks for this word amen dear heavenly father we thank you for this chapter we thank you for guiding us hallelujah through this this word tonight lord thank you for edifying us yet another day with your word we thank you father we give you all the glory and we give you all the thanks lord may this word have blessed many ears in jesus mighty name amen 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 glory to god my friends um blessings blessings i hope you're doing well um thank you for reading um and tagging along amen um i hope it edified you i hope the word spoke to you i hope you learned something new amen um always a pleasure my friends please if you like this video hit the like button and share the gospel uh until next time shalom shalom peace be with you god bless